Z because it's like the last week of break so I didn't really want to you know get all dressed up and everything for this video so I do have my makeup done but I'm just sitting here relaxing for the day and some of the things I used up this is going to be another empties video I'm going to try to do them every other month I think but like this past past month I've been going through a lot of things and before I went through a lot of things too so um yeah, so I'm just going to get right in. The first thing is this Love and Beauty by Forever 21. This actually took me a while to get through. Um, I think it actually lasted me, like, the whole month, basically, of, um, of like, mid-December to mid-January. And it's these makeup wipes, and they have 60 of them, and they're just from the Makeup Forever brand and Love and Beauty. So, um, they're awkwardly large, which I realized, compared to, like, a regular wipe, they are very long and large. And they're also super thin, but, um... It doesn't really work any better than the other one, but it does smell a lot better than the ones that come in the silver packs, which is what I usually get, which I like the lavender ones. But yeah, this smells really good, I think, and that's one of the reasons why I liked it a lot. Um, another thing that I just finished up were these wet wipes from H&M. They're actually were only like $1.95, and they come in... The smell lemongrass. And these actually had, these were really small like hand face wipes. But I usually use them for hands. And they had 10 of them. And they worked really well. They actually stayed moist for a long time for like months actually, which is kind of gross. But I like used them on and off. I didn't use them like every single day. Um, getting into some food things. Like these are also like, I guess you could say favorites of mine. This is like the best thing that's ever been on the planet. And it's just this, um, these sweet potato chips. This is the best ones I've ever had, like, honestly. I'm not really into sweet potatoes because they're really fatty, I think. And, but these are really good. And, yeah, they're, like, super good. And I went on a kick for, like, I would just eat these for a week. It's probably really bad, but whatever. The next thing is this, which is... Um, I left some um, showing just so you guys could see what it is. But as you can see, I used up like the whole thing essentially. And this is just the soft soap, raspberry sorbet, and almond blossom moisturizing body wash with moisture beads. So the beads didn't really make a difference for me. Like they didn't exfoliate my skin that much. But the smell of this smells amazing. And that's probably why I repurchased it again because I love this smell. The next thing is this Suave Dry Shampoo. I already purchased a backup of two of these, and I also am going through the Dove one right now. But this one, I love it. I love it so much. You just have to make sure to keep it like six inches away and spray it. It doesn't leave a white cast at all on my hair, which is really nice because my hair is basically, I would say, black. And the smell is very fruity and almost tropical-like. Um, the next thing I use kind of smells like... Um, just like incense, and it is the Karma Soap and by Lush Cosmetics, and it's this body soap. It actually was red, but I used it all up, and um, I think this was just a sample. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was just a sample size, but it worked really well, and it lasted me like two showers, so that was nice. And then I used up this, which is the OPI Rapid Dry Spray Nail Polish Dryer. This lasted, me and my mom, like, because we just use it together. This lasted at our house, like, years, literally. But it works really well, and it's just this clear liquid. I don't know if you can tell by it. But it's just this clear liquid. There's a little bit left in there, but, um... Yeah, it's really good, and it doesn't leave your hair, hands, like, feeling oily and stuff, and it does actually help it dry really fast. And I like how it has a spray pump on it, which is nice and convenient. This I got um, through an online website, which I purchased beauty products on. Can't remember which one it was. Anyway, it's just this um, sample size one. It's 0.34 fluid ounces, and it's called Red Point, and... It's just um, this thing that sounded really cool. It's Age Minimizer Lion Filler. And it's apply a small amount over entire face as a makeup primer and moisturizer. So it was a two-in-one thing, which I was really excited about. But the pump stopped working, and I had to, like, you can tell kind of through here because I have scratch marks. I had to, like, bang it against something for, like, it to, the product to actually work and pump through. But I only got, like, three or four uses out of it, which was kind of surprising because with 0.3 fluid ounces, you would think you would get more out of it. So that was kind of a disappointment, I guess. It was just disappointing in the way that they kind of represented their product um i went through some candles just um 
besides the ones that I went through in December, but these I mostly went through in January. This is a Bonfire Maple Wood, which I just went through this past week. It smells super good. It smells pretty sweet, I would say. And, yeah, I liked it a lot. Another one that I went through were smaller ones. They're just, like, really small ones. Um... This is a cranberry um, pear bellini. I already went through another one of these, but this is my second one I went through. And I still love the scent. It's so good. And then winter, which is just kind of a fresh smelling. I honestly like think it kind of smells like snow, I guess, but not really because, I don't know, you could use it all year round, I think. And then white barn, which is definitely, I think, one of my favorites because I bought two of the small ones and I bought, like, a medium one. So I really like this one. And then I also went through Autumn Day, which is one that I'm currently, like, burning right now, um, which is, like, the medium size of this. So I really enjoyed those candles, and I just like using them a lot. Now the Luna bars that I bought, I actually am... This is what the thing looks like. I'm too away from finishing it, so I just thought I would add them in here. There are these. They're the Luna Protein Bars, and they have a lot of... Um, they have 24% of your daily, like... Um, protein needed so it's actually really good and it fills me up enough to be like my breakfast which is real nice and this is just chocolate peanut butter because I liked the one Luna bar I tried but I don't think it was the protein kind it was just like the peanut butter kinds but that actually tastes really good and I knew that I would like it because it's chocolate peanut butter so it was like a win and this is just what the bar look like bars look like so yeah I went through those and they were really good the last couple of things are just kind of, kind of skin and, like, makeup, I guess you'd say. Um, this one is this um, thing I got in my glossy box, which I'm going to use the next one up, but probably when I'm at home because it's, like, an oil thing, so I don't want to get the whole showers oily. This works so well. Like, after I used it, um, I didn't even have to put a moisturizer on my body because my moist like the moisture in my body was sealed from this after I... Um, like you use this after you wash your body, which is really nice, but I didn't like it because it made my entire shower oily and my like suction cup, suction thing, mat, like floor mat shower thing did not, um, did not stay. So yeah, but it's just this clear like oil. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's very clear and it worked really well. I wouldn't repurchase it because it's like $22 for another full one. And I don't know if that was full or not, but I have uh, another one of that because I got two glossy boxes. Um, the next thing is this, which is the Jack Black um, Supreme Shave Cream. And this is supposed to be for guys, but I thought I would just use it on my legs or something. It worked okay. It smells really good. That's the only reason why I was going to use it, and I had a sample of it for some reason. The next thing I used was this makeup remover by LA Fresh, which I got in my Birch box this past month. And, um... It was okay. I mean, it got all my makeup off and it worked. I kind of like it how if you were going to buy these that they're travel friendly and that you can actually um, make sure that they don't dry out, which is really nice. So it like kept it moist. That's a gross word. Anyway, the next thing that I really liked that I used this month were the Shaney Set um, 01-9. And they were eyelashes, but I threw them away, so I just thought I would mention them because they actually have decent eyelashes and they come in super big packs. The next thing is kind of like getting really gross, but anyway, it's this triple action thing. It's by Elegance or something like that. And this I just got in a sample a while ago, I feel like, but it is just this peel off thing. So it's a peel off mask. I couldn't really feel it while I had it on my face. Like some, you can feel them sectioning up to your face. But then after I put it off, I did notice a difference in my skin and how it felt. So that did work out in the end. Um, and then three more things that are quick. One is actually like full size, which is this Voluminous Million Lashes. And this is by L'Oreal. And um, it was pretty drying out, and I like how it was waterproof. I used it during the summer, and I haven't really used it that much, so I thought I would throw it away because I'm not going to save it for next summer because it's definitely going to dry out by then. But I definitely just wanted to show you guys that I really like this one, especially for waterproof mascara. It worked pretty well. And then the next thing I use is this Perlis. This lasted me a long time, actually. It lasted me a couple of weeks, I would say. 
and it's just this little size of 0.5 fluid ounces and it is an SPF 30. So I was running out of daily moisturizer so I wanted to just use up samples that I have. So this is a really nice one because it's for normal to dry skin and sensitive and anti-aging. So this would um, just help especially because you're also in the sun in the winter which um, which is nice and it worked really well for my skin and it didn't have that a strong scent like some do. And yeah, so I really like this. I don't know if I would actually pull up buy the full thing but I did have this sample kind of floating around since the summertime but I just started using it um, recently anyway the next thing I have is this benefit benefit stay don't stray which I loved so much this little thing lasted me for months I kid you not like you don't even have to use that much but um it doesn't say how much is in this but it's just like an eyeshadow primer obviously and I have the full size which is what I'm going to start digging into now I think or I'm gonna finish up other little samples that I have but this is really nice and um it's for concealers, it says too, which is nice. But I really like this one. And that is all the empties for this month. Bye, guys. I hope you enjoyed this.